The material you will find is an accumulation of data from my own records and information gathered from records of my remaining family and cousins. The number of individuals, in my quest, has grown to over 300 in the past year. The work contained herein, however, is far from complete. This is a work in progress, and as such is subject to revision and modification as new information is uncovered or added. There are family members for whom we have some data, but I have yet to be identified, and, expecting to see this project completed may be futile, since we are all growing older and we want to leave at least a little of this frustration for those who follow in our footsteps. Signed. Joseph M. Okoro. Giuseppe Okoro was born 1863 in Acciatura, Italy, and died in Acciatura, Italy. He married Nunziata Lavecchio, daughter of Giuseppe Lavecchio. She was born in 1863 in Acciatura, Italy, and died 22nd of August 1908 in Philadelphia, PA. Giuseppe Okoro arrived at Ellis Island in 1901 with wife Nunziata and kids, Teresa and Florence. After Nunziata passed away, Giuseppe went back to Italy and remarried in 1910, to Margarita. He had six children in total, Biagio, Teresa, Catherine, Mary, Florence, and Angelo. Leonard Clements was born June 4, 1860 in Italy, and died February 22, 1929 in Camden, New Jersey. He married Teresa Esposito January 11, 1885 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She was born October 6, 1865 in Italy, and died on August 10, 1934 in Camden, New Jersey. Leonard's true last name is Clemente, but was misspelled upon entering the USA. They had seven children, Anna, Nicholas, Joseph, Mary, Sadie, Christina, and James. Anna Clements was born August 7, 1892 in Philadelphia, PA, and died December 27, 1958 in Camden, New Jersey. She married Valentino Petrella February 15, 1912 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Valentino was born March 11, 1886 in Palmoli, Italy, and died October 19, 1969 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On January 28, 1905, Valentino arrived at Ellis Island from Naples Campania, Italy on the ship Napolitan Prince. Valentino and Anna had four children, Francis, Teresa, John, and Helen. Biagio also known as Benny, was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania March 22, 1906. Suddenly his mother Nunziata, on August 22, 1908, passed away at age 45 when Benny was only two years old. His father Giuseppe, took him and his two sisters, Mary and Catherine to Italy. All three worked the fields in the valley of Acetura. Giuseppe soon remarried and raised a new family of six children. It was then that sisters Catherine and Mary returned to the USA. When Benny was 18 years old, his sisters Teresa, Florence, Catherine and Mary saved enough money to reserve ship voyage for his return to Philadelphia, on February 6, 1925. Somehow Benny's eventual grandmother-in-law-to-be, Teresa Esposito became his godmother. Benny began work at the Stetson Hat Company in Philadelphia, PA, where he gained invaluable experience for future work-related goals. He next worked for Sun Shoe Repair and Hat Cleaning shortly after, where he was in charge of cleaning and blocking felt hats. After his marriage to Francis Petrella, he opened his own hat cleaning business, calling it Federal Hat Cleaning located on 24th and Federal Street Camden NJ, just across the street from Shellos, a well-known malt and soda shop, and the hangout for local ballplayers and sport-loving kids. Benny, his wife Frances, son Joseph and daughter Anna was living at 2114 Barrack Street, Camden NJ home of the Barrack Bears, a great semi-pro football team of that era. When in 1949, Benny moved his business and family, to his new remodeled home slash shop, sold to him by Mike and Mary Lost also. Mary is aunt to wife Francis. The new location was at 2713 Federal Street in East Camden. Benny was an avid sportsman, and loved to watch all Philadelphia sport teams, especially baseball's great Joe DiMaggio, when the Yankees came to town to play the Philadelphia Athletics. After semi-retirement, Benny worked in Camden City Hall as a maintenance operator, up until his death in September, 1978. At age 72, Francis Petrella was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on January 7, 1913. She was the first of four born to parents, Valentino and Anna Petrella. 
She had two sisters, Tessie and Helen, and brother John Petrella. Francis married Biagio Acuoro in 1935. They had two children, Joseph who was born in August 1936, and Anna who was born in December 1948. Francis has three grandchildren, Michael, Dominic, and Francis. Along with two great-grandchildren, Matthew and Nicholas. During World War II, Francis worked for RCA in Camden, New Jersey, assembling electronic components for submarines. She loved to sew, crochet and make handmade afghans and lace tatting used in decorative trim. She was a member of St. Joseph Pro Cathedral in East Camden, New Jersey where she also enjoyed playing bingo with many friends and neighbors. One of her favorite pastimes was going to Atlantic City and staying hours on the slot machines. In 1997, Frances moved in with her daughter Anna and her family. Frances was thought to have minor strokes, and through failing health occurring more often, two years later, on January 19, 1999, Frances passed away. Joseph Michael Acuoro was born August 28, 1936 in Camden, New Jersey. He is the son of the late Biagio and Francis Acuoro and brother to Anna Francis Acuoro. He married Marion Stetler on September 25, 1957 in Camden. They had one son, Michael Joseph who was born on February 5, 1963. Joe played varsity baseball, third base, for Woodrow Wilson High School, class of 1954 where he and his teammates won two city series, two group three titles and one sectional state championship. He also played in the Camden County Parks League, Gotchel Twilight League and American Legion Baseball through the late 50s. Joe was a member of the South Jersey Hot Stovers Baseball Club, being awarded the Hot Stover of the Year in 2004 and 2007, and was inducted as a member of the South Jersey Baseball Hall of Fame in 2012. Joe started work for the Pennsylvania Railroad as a freight brakeman slash conductor right out of high school. Soon afterwards, he worked for RCA, starting in Moorestown, New Jersey, then to Heightstown, New Jersey and finally to the Camden, New Jersey complex where he took an early retirement in 1994. Joe enjoyed working on the computer, but most of all he enjoyed playing golf with his friends until his death on November 9, 2016 at the age of 80 years old, due to heart issues caused by diabetes. Here are some miscellaneous photos from the Acuoro and Clements scrapbook. Valentino Petrella, with Leonard Clements. From left to right, Joseph Acuoro. Wife Mitzi. Anna Acuoro. Francis Acuoro. Biagio Acuoro, and Valentino Petrella. Anna Acuoro. High school graduation picture. From left to right. Francis Petrella with mother Anna Petrella, and sister Helen Petrella. Francis Petrella. Joseph Okoro with his first bicycle. The bike was stolen a week later. Sadly, Joseph never received another bicycle after that. Joseph Okoro and Father Biagio Okoro at Maury's Pier in Wildwood, New Jersey. Anthony Pizzolo, with wife Mary Okoro. Frank Smith, with wife Tessie Petrella. John Petrella, with wife March. George Yates, with wife Helen Petrella. Here are some photo collages from the Acoro scrapbook. Sai tu, dolcissimo amore, 
guarda che luna, guarda che mare, da questa notte senza te dovrò restare, folle d'amore, vorrei morire, mentre la luna di lassù mi sta a guardare, resta soltanto tutto il rimpianto perché ho peccato nel desiderarti tanto ora son solo a ricordare e vorrei poterti dire guarda che luna guarda che mare che luna guarda che mare in questa notte senza te vorrei morire from left to right Charles Yates with mother Helen Yates father George Yates and older brother George Yates guarda che luna guarda che mare Tessie Smith with son Michael Smith also known as Mickey guarda che Here are some photos from Valentino's birthday party. Throughout these photos you will see Valentino Petrella, Tessie Smith, Francis Acoro, Viaggio Acoro, Joseph Acoro, Charles and Georgie Yates, John Petrella and wife Mark. I sing amore per dirti darling I love you. Sto guaiato ti amo very much. Purtroppo però non lo so di do you capire my love to dar a solo kiss? Io pregare tu credermi perché desidero te for me. Non sapendo Mickey Smith. Mickey Smith and his family. Canto only you. Here are some photos from Joseph Okoro's 70th birthday party. Joseph Okoro with sister Anna Constantine and brother-in-law Dominic Constantine. Joseph Okoro with son Michael, daughter-in-law Marissa and grandkids Matthew and Nicholas. Joseph Okoro with sister Anna Constantine and cousins, Pat Petrella, and Georgie and Charles Yates. Joseph Okoro and grandnephew Dominic Joseph Constantine. Joseph Okoro and grandniece Grace Anna Ransom. This concludes the Okoro family archives. I hope you enjoyed the program. If there is anything that needs to be added or corrected, please let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Sing more Do you capir for a no? Voglio dir che I love you, love you so. E resta così accanto a me. La 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 la. I sing more La 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 la.